Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going over the Fenmore, the final Incarnan weapon. I have all the videos out now, and with this one, we should be all done with Angels of the Zeraman. Until, of course, next update, and now we'll start going back to uh, pretty much old normal beginner guides. So, today, the Fenmore, right? Auto attack, pretty fast type of primary rifle. It is a single shot uh, semi-auto rifle in its non-incarnate form, and it's not as good as the Latum, because it doesn't do AoE explosive bullets, but it is insanely strong for single target and for just general fighting. So, if you end up liking the video, remember, if you want to support the channel, you can use Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker, subscribe, like, comment, and check out any of the random socials, of course. So if you go to Evolve Incarnate Weapons, we have the Fenmore right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? These are the current stats that I have on it. Okay, the crit chance, or status chance, sorry, might be a little high, but let's not worry about it. It's not full forma. This is only, I believe, a two forma Fenmore, so it would be stronger if I had like five forma, but I'm not really that bothered or interested in doing that. So, the Incarnan form, headshots charge Incarnan transmutation, alt fire to transmute, switch back will expend any remaining charges, right? Same as the Latum secondary, makes sense. Now, the Evolution 2, I also have plus 20% fire rate. Uh, you can always take plus 80% projectile speed. I don't find it necessary, but whatever. You can also take 50% accuracy and 50% less recoil when aiming. Wow. I just go with the straight DPS boost fire rate, because this thing, uh, it attacks pretty fast. And you'll see why when I uh, go run over to Seal Path to show you. Here, for the upgrades, you can choose from 50% magazine capacity, on reload from empty, 100% reload speed for 6 seconds, and on headshot kill, 20% chance to instant reload. I would say honestly any one of these are fine. It's just up to you. I just chose the magazine capacity one because why not? Reload from empty obviously would also be good similar to magazine capacity in a sense. Headshot on kill if you're popping off a lot of headshots with the uh, uh, single target you're probably gonna be okay with that but you want to try to get a lot of headshots and then just transform it so that's why I didn't really bother taking that one. So the evolution 4 same as the last one I took 20% status chance, minus 10% crit chance. Also has headshots build 50% more are Karnan transmutation charge. Okay, fair enough. It's good, but it's not like a DPS boost. And then this one, which is 10% status and 10% critical chance increase, which, you know, all in all, these two look pretty good, but the last form is also 50% chance to deal plus 2,000% damage on non-critical hits. So I'm going with that one. To do all the damage. This one, enemies suffering fewer than three status effects will receive plus 100% critical damage. Okay, I mean, like, interesting if you want to go for a pure crit build, but I don't think it would be anywhere near as good as Devouring Attrition, so no thank you. And then you have Lingering Judgment on two headshots within two seconds, plus 50% headshot damage for eight seconds. I mean, also okay, but yeah, no, not anywhere as good as Devouring Attrition. So without a doubt, this is what I built towards, just doing all the damage on non-criticals. So the Fenmore, as I said before, okay, it's not a perfect build, not a perfect build. It's like a decent enough build. It's only two forma, and now you will see why. It's because uh, I would like to throw on a Primed Shred, but I would need a lot more Forma. I would like to throw on my primary Arcane Adapter as well, but I'm just missing some Steel uh, Essence right now, so I just haven't bothered doing that. Uh, I would uh, swap out, honestly, Galvanized Aptitude with Prime Shred. It's not a terrible idea, but I just don't have the space for that unless I like take out something here and then I won't I just won't even bother but since this does not deal any sort of AoE it just goes through them it's a good idea you don't want any crit because you're taking away that crit chance right so prime shred or regular shred definitely not a bad idea right like I just for now that wouldn't even be a too terrible of an idea. The galvanized, or sorry, the primary arcane adapter is going to add a ton of damage, so you're not going to be seeing that on this video, right? Because I only do have a serration and then all of those mods here for added damage. I have vigilante armaments for some multi-shot, as well as galvanized chamber for even more multi-shot. 
But as you can see, the damage, not too bad, right? Not bad at all. I have Viral Radiation Slash on this bad boy, so damage isn't too bad there. And even when you go into Incarnate Form, also not too bad there. So all in all, yeah, it's a good setup. Oh, okay, it's only a one Forma build. I thought I had two Formas on this. And if you added uh, the Primary Arcane Adapter, threw on Prime Tread up here, maybe swapped out something for... Uh, maybe you'd want... Well, you wouldn't really want Internal Bleeding on this bad boy, right? Maybe you'd want to throw on something else. It's up to you. But, oh yeah, you can definitely, uh, definitely throw on... I'm just trying to think. I'm like, yeah, you could throw on Vigilante Fervor, but it's not really too helpful. Wouldn't throw on Speed Trigger, or File Acceleration. Yeah, there's things you can throw on, but for now, this is what I'm going with. This is the build. Throw around Galvanized Aptitude as you will. It's still good. Throw on Prime Shred over one of these afterwards, if you will. But I just also have this on for just more upfront damage, especially since I only have Serration on. But it doesn't even have that or add that much damage, so don't worry about it too much, okay? Prime Shred would be pretty great. So, hey. For now, that is my build. Let's go take a look and see how it performs. As you saw, the damage overall is already, like, pretty good, right? It's not terrible. It's not as good as the Latum was because that had a lot more Forma on it. But this, for what it is right now, one Forma build, honestly, it's pretty insane. So let's run to a quick Exterminate Steel Path, right? And I'll just show you how the damage is. Because Steel Path Exterminate's always a pretty decent way to do that. Let me just make sure I don't die quickly. And of course it might be a gamble, but the primary fire is a semi-auto bullet, as you can see. Okay, not too bad. Shooting out two or three because of all my multi-shot. Oh no, let me actually throw these down so I don't die. And then as you can see, once you pop some heads, build your incarnate form. Oh, I can't aim at all. So sorry. Right? The charge up does take some time, so I know some people like to throw on reload speed. But look at that. Even without many Forma, the damage on this bad boy is going to be insane, okay? Like, without a doubt, it's just going to be great. It's not AoE, though, okay? It's not an AoE explosive rifle. The attack speed's really fast, but once you throw on Prime Shred, it'll go through people, it'll attack even faster or regular Shred, right? And that should overall increase the general damage output. Once I throw on a Primary Arcane Adapter, throw on Primary Merciless, the damage will go up even more, and it's probably at that point more beneficial to swap out the Galvanized Aptitude for Prime Shred, and then I can just go from there, right? It's such a strong weapon that I'm just, I just love it. I probably would want to throw off uh, that other multi-shot mod, because it does add some crit, right? But for now, this is what I'm going with, right? Not too bad, not too bad. Not like the best gun, but not the worst at all. It deals a lot of damage, as, as you can see, it has a lot of magazine capacity once you actually transform it. Like the Incarnate Form lasts overall decently long. Oh no, the Thrax enemy is actually going to be kind of an issue. Just because they're annoying, right? Ugh. They're just annoying in how they, how they deal with beating me up and oh no all my energy is being stolen okay i might just die here either way let me transform my fenmore and then try to quickly beast through this guy there you go okay wasn't that bad i lied i just missed my energy so i was crying over there but yeah as you can see that's the fenmore not bad at all not like the best weapon but it's definitely not the worst it shoots off a ton of ammo Look at the status procs over there. Mwah. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. So, tell me what you think of the weapon. If you like it, if you hate it, what have you. Remember to check out my socials. Beat me up, enemies. Follow me on the Twitch. Use Twitch Prime if you want to grab some free loot, as well as, you know, Twitch Prime to my Twitch. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Should be back to regular non-Angels of the Zeremin videos now. So, thank you. Please check them out, and I will see you next time. Peace.